the family show. Or is it? Ever since the formation of One Direction back in 2010, Harry Styles has been the name on every teenage girl's lips. With the world's fixation on him, even resulting in the Wattpad fan fiction series called After, which is now a highly popular film franchise. Harry has been a pretty big influence in the spheres of music, film, and even designer clothing. But what do we really know about Harry Styles? And what do experts estimate his net worth to be nowadays anyway? Well, whether you're a fan of the charming icon or just want to know more about his life and times, stay right where you are, as we're about to explore everything there is to know about Harry Styles, from his lifestyle to what he spends his millions on. So strap yourselves in and get ready for an adventure, as things are about to get interesting. But before we get into it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of the new videos we post. A little more about Harry. Harry Edward Styles, as he is formally known, was born on the 1st of February 1994 in Redditch, England, making him only 27 years old at the moment. When he was a young child, he moved with his parents Anne Cox and Desmond Styles and older sister Gemma to the village of Holmes Chapel in Cheshire. At the age of seven, his parents decided to divorce from one another, which then resulted in the marriage between his mother and Robin Twist, who unfortunately died of cancer in 2017. This relationship did cause Harry's family to grow though, earning him an older stepbrother named Mike and a stepsister named Amy. According to Harry, despite the divorce, he had always felt supported by everyone in his family and remembers having an incredible childhood growing up. Some of his fondest memories were spent on the karaoke machine his grandfather had bought him, where he would spend hours recording covers of Elvis Presley and the legends of the like. When he went on to attend the Holmes Chapel Comprehensive School, he made some friends and quickly became the lead singer of a band called White Eskimo, which later went on to win the Battle of the Bands competition. Harry was always talented in the musical department. He also worked part-time at the W. Mandeville Bakery in Holmes Chapel from the age of 16, which shows that from a young age, he had a pretty strict regiment and work ethic. And it was because of this talent and work ethic that his mother suggested that he audition for the seventh season of The British X Factor, where he advanced to boot camp but failed to get much further. Fellow judge and showrunner of the series, Simon Cowell, saw potential in the young star, though, and placed him in a group with four other contestants who failed to progress. This group consisted of Harry, Niall Horan, Liam Payne, Lewis Tomlinson, and Zion Malik, who, after two weeks of practice, decided to proceed in the group category and called themselves One Direction. The group went on to finish third overall in the competition, but this was by far the least of the success that was still to come to them. In January of the following year, the band ended up signing a record deal with Cowell's label Psycho Records, which resulted in the release of their UK number one debut single, What Makes You Beautiful, and debut studio album, Up All Night. Three of the songs on this debut album actually have been co-written by Styles himself. One Direction went on to release album upon album, each day debuting at number one, with Midnight Memories being the world's best-selling album of 2013. Their Where We Are tour also ended up being the highest-grossing tour of 2014, and to this day remains the highest-grossing tour of any vocal group so far. Not wanting to exhaust the fan base, Styles went on to suggest that the band take a hiatus back in 2016, which is essentially what broke the band up and sent each vocalist off in their own directions. <laughs> Excuse the pun. As a solo artist, Harry Styles then went on to sign with the talent agency CAA, which got him a record deal with Columbia Records. At the same time, he went on to launch his own label, known as Erskine Records. It was then in 2017 that his hit single, Sign of the Times, was released, alongside his first solo album. He then went on to feature in Dunkirk, which is one of Christopher Nolan's greatest war films. Harry gave a surprisingly good portrayal of a soldier by the name of Alex, and now considers himself to be an actor, singer, songwriter, and producer. The star has become quite the artist in the world of designer clothing, often making headlines for breaking feminine stereotypes by wearing all sorts of fabulous clothing. Harry's net worth. As we mentioned earlier, Harry Styles made a name for himself by being the lead singer of the world-renowned boy band One Direction. But 
use this fame and fortune to build an empire for himself, which is far greater. He now not only has an incredible solo career in the music industry, but has found himself featured in Hollywood blockbusters. He has also been able to take on a number of brands who pay him an excessive amount of money to either show off their products or act as a spokesperson for them. He has made more than just a name for himself in the world, with experts estimating his net worth to be around $80 million US as of right now. This means that Harry is able to buy next to anything that is being sold in the world today. And to nobody's surprise, this expansive wealth has actually resulted in him buying some of the craziest things. Let's take a look at some of them next. One, his clothing refrigerator. Fans of the music icon are well aware that he has an eye for expensive clothing. But what some of you might not know is the extent to which he goes to ensure the safety of the clothes that he has bought. One of his strangest purchases just happens to be a clothing refrigerator of sorts, which is basically a temperature-controlled vault under 24-hour surveillance. This vault allows Harry to ensure that his extravagant clothes are in constant state of safety, regardless of where he is. The surveillance cameras inside of the vault even have a link to his smartphone, which allows him to check in on his clothes whenever he gets a bad feeling about their well-being. And while nobody really knows just how much Harry ended up paying for his clothing refrigerator, some have estimated that the cost of a temperature-controlled vault of that size would be around 5,000 US dollars. This clearly isn't the only cost, though, with the average storage room of this type running at a cost of about $2,700 per year. And this isn't even including the cost of the surveillance system which is definitely one of the best on the market. Harry has a load of expensive designer clothes that he wants to protect from both theft and the elements and has paid a massive amount of money to do so. Two, his provocative artwork. It's clear from his taste in clothing that Harry has a pretty great style, but this doesn't only extend to his choice of apparel. In fact, when it comes to the design of his home, Harry has purchased himself quite a few pieces of provocative art from artist Hayden Kays. For those of you who are unfamiliar familiar with his works, Case creates images from his typewriter that feature short blurbs and drawings. According to sources, Harry had purchased about 25 pieces for himself after falling in love with the expression of comedy and provocativeness that can be found after a prolonged staring. In total, he has paid around 33,000 US dollars on his love of Hayden Case and has reportedly spent more on other artists of the like. The musical legend likes to keep his home as stylish as himself, which is really no surprise considering what we already know about him. Three, his car collection. Like the majority of singers and celebrities who make it big, Harry has also spent quite a large portion of his net worth on a collection of incredible cars. The only thing better than being invited to the latest and greatest events is being able to arrive in style, after all, with Harry having a number of expensive options to choose from. One of his favorites just has to be his 2012 Audi R8 Coupe, which he purchased for around $130,000. This impressive vehicle takes just 4.6 seconds to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour and clocks in at a top speed of 187 miles per hour. In other words, Harry has absolutely no excuse when it comes to being late, as his R8 is able to take him places nobody else can go in very little time. He is also the proud owner of a Ferrari California convertible, which he also bought back in 2012 for around $195,000. Since this is the vehicle he chooses to drive over and above everything else in his garage, fans are absolutely obsessed with it. He has also said in the past that he loves nothing more than the roar of the V8 engine beneath the hood. So, while he might not be the biggest gearhead in the world, there's no doubt that he has a pretty great taste when it comes to his car collection. What do you think of the crazy things that Harry has spent his money on? Be sure to let us know in the comments section down below.